Hi, it's Stacey Peterson, funny motivational speaker. And today is Speaker Sunday, which I am just loving the idea of being able to provide videos that can help you be better, um, whether that's on stage speaking or on camera, so that you can get whatever message you have across, uh, because the more goodness we have in the world, the better. So <laughs> I'm just here to hopefully help you in some capacity and be an encourager. Um, if you want more of this, you can like, subscribe, and share for more tips. Um, okay. How many of you, maybe you watching this right now, hate the way you look on camera? You think you come across a certain way and then you filmed yourself or you saw yourself on Zoom or, you know, your face timing, you could see your face in the corner and you were like, oh my gosh, you did not know you look like that. So I want to give you a couple of tips on this. The very first thing is that if you react that way, when you see yourself on camera, when people who are camera experts just tell you, oh, just you'll get over it and just project confidence and, you know, do certain breathing techniques. Um, yeah, breathing is important, but I want to tell you that in my personal opinion, as a professional actor, I have a degree in theater. I've done a lot of camera work, uh, but I'm also a speaker and uh, I think it's total crap. I don't know any other word to use. It's just crap when people are like, well, just be confident and you won't feel nervous. That's not reality. Here's the secret is that most people feel exactly the same way you do when you see yourself on camera. So when you're looking at, you know, people who make videos, maybe they post them on social media or somebody on a YouTube channel or an online course, I could pretty much guarantee that especially when they first started, they were so like, that's why everybody has filters. Okay. <laughs> and it's perfectly cropped and they've probably taken 500 photos or re done the video many, many times. And it's not just everyday people, it's actors as well. I know I would say that a majority of actors that I know personally hate to watch themselves on camera. They hate watching a finished film. They hate watching their commercial. It makes them feel so uncomfortable because again, you think you're projecting something uh, a certain way and then you see what it actually looks like and it doesn't match up what's in your mind of what's on the screen. So tip number one, if you feel that way, congratulations, you're normal. The second thing is, uh, I just love this. This is something that my, um, I had an acting coach teach me this about camera because some people watch themselves over and over again to get all their little quirks and get everything perfect. I still to this day have a hard time doing it. So this is what he told me to do. He said, Stacy, watch your video back five times, five times. You're going to watch it. You're going to hate everything about it. You're going to think you talk too long or too weird, or you were too expressive or not expressive enough, or, you know, you just look bad. You looked weird. You sounded weird, all that stuff. He said, just go through that gross feeling, that icky thing of watching yourself and do it five different times, because here's why, here's what happens. You get tired of watching yourself. Like it gets old, it gets boring. <laughs> so after you've watched yourself five times, this is my personal take for you is that now that you've watched yourself five times, you've gotten out all that grossness of seeing, I'm gonna ask you, does the message that you share in that video, is that helpful to someone? Is the message of helping that person that helps that person is that more important than the way your voice sounds or the way your teeth are crooked or you know your hair is gray is the message coming through is it helpful and if the answer to that is yes then you need to just suck it up get it edited whether you do it yourself or just whatever or just put it up just post it 
um, because th your message is more important than your physical appearance. Cause that's who you are. That's your story. That's what's inside of you. That's what people see and want to know. You know, I think of the friends reunion that I just saw a couple of weeks ago, not the promo. I didn't see the, I haven't seen the reunion. I don't even know what it is, but you know, like I said, professional actors, I was shocked. <laughs> because all the guys just embraced looking like not very good. And all the women were like, so Botox, right? <laughs> they were so, I was like, it came across the camera so strongly, the stark difference. And you know what? Cause they feel the same way. They feel the same way you do. So is your message and is the purpose of what you're doing of helping someone, or maybe it's helping your family and knowing you need to grow your business you're helping someone, is that more important than feeling awkward? Probably, yeah. And when you get over that mindset and you just do it over and over again, the thing, the purpose of what you're doing is more important than your comfort, which is gonna help you push record and send or record and post way more often than if you're just fully focused on you. So that's my video for today's Speaker Sunday. And again, if you find it helpful, you can totally subscribe. We'd love to have you on there um, because I'm hoping to give more tips. All right, have a good rest of your day.